Hi, my name is Neil Saunders and welcome to this week's edition of Retail Perspectives. What I want to talk about today is perhaps one of the most fundamental changes we've seen in retail in decades, and that is the growth of online. Now, online is about 10% just over of all retail sales today, so it's a pretty significant proportion of what we spend as consumers. Now, of course, that rapid growth over recent years has had fundamental implications for the sector and it has reshaped the sector in a lot of ways. Stores have become obsolete in some instances, retailers are thinking about how the shape of the chain needs to look because of course they don't need as many stores now to service consumers and consumers themselves have got a lot more choice. We're not just confined to what we have on the high street, we can shop at international brands, we can shop at brands that are perhaps very niche that we just wouldn't have had access to before. So it's really changed the way we shop. Now some people see that as a danger or a bad thing. They see actually online as acting as a kind of magnet that pulls people away from the high street and leads to the deterioration of physical retail. And to a certain extent that has probably been true. But actually I think what is happening now is interesting because I think we're at a tipping point. And from my perspective, I think that online today is arguably much less of a threat to physical retail in the high street than it has been over the past 10 years. And there are a number of reasons for that. The first reason is that the growth of online, as online has matured and become a much bigger market, has actually slowed. If you go back to 2007, online at that time was growing by about 32% year on year. So it was a really rapidly growing market and it was taking quite a lot of share away from high street growth. Today, online is probably growing by about 12%. That's our forecast for 2013. So it's a much slower rate of growth. It still takes some sales away from physical retail, but the pace at which it does so has really slowed. The second reason that I think online is less of a threat is that it's actually wrong to think of online and offline as separate channels. Actually, most successful retailers today think of multi-channel. They think of how they can maximise sales across on and offline and make the two work together so that they service the consumer much better. So stores have a fundamental role to play within that multi-channel mix. They could be the point of inspiration. They could be a point of customer service. Sometimes they're still the point of transaction. So stores do have a fundamental and important role to play in the way the consumer shops. And actually going hand in hand with that is fulfilment, so how we get the products. And of course that has always been the Achilles heel of online. If you think of the biggest pain point when you order a product, it's getting it and having it delivered to your home. You're often not in when it arrives, sometimes you have to take a day off. If you're not there you get a card through the door and you have to go and collect it. It's been something that consumers have hated. And so of course what we've seen now is much more flexible ways of things being delivered. So we have click and collect, where you order online and you go and pick up from a physical shop. We have things like Collect Plus, where you order online and you can pick it up from a local convenience store, not necessarily the retailer you bought it from, but just from a point of collection. Players like Amazon have lockers, where you can just go and type in a code and get the product from the locker. And players like Waitrose are thinking about developing lockers and putting them in places like stations so you can pick up the groceries you've ordered online. So in some ways, Online is driving footfall to physical destinations because they're increasingly the places we're picking up the products that we order via the internet. So the two are working much more seamlessly together. And it's interesting as well that some of the pure plays, people like eBay, are now thinking about how they can get a physical presence. So last Christmas eBay opened a pop-up shop. It's now entered into a partnership with Argos, where you can order some goods from eBay and you can pick them up from some of Argos's physical stores. So the fact that pure players are thinking about physical shows how important that channel is in driving sales and in driving customer satisfaction. So I think the future isn't about online and offline as separate elements. It's about putting the two together and making them work seamlessly so that they better serve the consumer. And the interesting thing is, those retailers that are doing that and doing it well are the ones that are getting by far the best growth and will continue to get that growth going forwards.